Yo guys, welcome back to the channel and today we have a special video where I'm going to be breaking down two big topics that just happened in the past week. Uh, if some of you didn't know, I probably took PTO just to play some games over the, over the break. So, and there's some very big news that came out. So, uh, the first half of this video is going to be about the localization of Trails of Code Steel 4. And the second half is going to be about my final opinions on Persona 5 Royal Edition. So, we come into it April 1st. Uh, Nisa announced Trails of Code Steel 4. I honestly, I wanted to report on this as soon as possible. But I waited a couple days just to, you know, continue playing Persona 5 Royal. But mostly just to make sure that it wasn't an April Fool's joke. And lo and behold, it is not an April Fool's joke. So, Nisa really banged this one out. They they, they did a full translation of Trails of Code Steel 4 in less than a year. I am thoroughly impressed, to be quite honest with you guys. So... We're gonna have pretty much the same thing as we did last year. I probably will take off some time to play Code Steel 4 and platinum the game to be top 0.1% just like I was with Code Steel 3. I brought you guys the news first. I was probably one of the first in the world to get Code Steel 3 in English, the full platinum. So once again, here's my Code Steel 4 platinum already. So you guys know if you need anything, come to me, boys. So. We definitely know that's coming at the end of this year, and it's right. Uh, they haven't announced the date. I assume it's gonna be the same time, run the same time as Cold Steel was, but that also means that this is coming almost directly after Kis Hajimari no Kiseki comes out, which comes out summer of this year. So, roughly soon in the, in the next three to four months, they haven't announced a, an actual date, but I'm assuming it's around that time. So we're both we're both gonna get Hajimari Hajimari no Kiseki, and we're gonna get Cold Steel four. So that is huge. So, that with that information out of the way, I wanted to make sure that reported to you guys, make sure it wasn't an April Fool's joke. And we're going to move on to my final opinions on Persona 5 Royal Edition. So, as you can see, I am 96% to Platinum. Uh, I'm missing two trophies, which I'm probably going to bang out real quick in the next playthrough. It's simply because I just didn't do the Strength Confidants, but if I did that, I would have got 100% Platinum on the first playthrough. Uh, for most people, it is a much easier platinum than the original trophy was, where because you don't have to do max confidants for everybody in one playthrough, you also don't have to do all the miscellaneous book reading. Well, that's all con considered as a different award in the game. So all of the real hard trophies no longer exist in this game for a pure platinum edition. Uh, I mean realistically the. The, I think the one thing that's limiting everybody is finishing the the game, essentially, is just finishing the game at this point. Overall, Persona 5, it did a lot of good things well. It, it did mix up a little bit of the stuff in the beginning of the game with the new grapple hooks, even though it's minor, you can tell when it comes in. And some of the boss battles were not reimagined, but added some new, new quirky things in there. There's a whole new list of Personas. They gave you a bunch of stuff if you played the original game and you bought the DLC, which is very, very nice of them to do. Overall, and there's a lot less bullshit, nothing to do during the first, like, two chapters of the game where you're just forced to stay inside the whole time. It's all very nice. It's all the small things in this game that they, that add up to making it a great game. Overall, I didn't honestly have that much... I didn't even have any hard time in this game at all. It feels like, with all the new additions, the game became way too easy in my opinion for a Shin Megami Tensei game but that is once again besides the point some people might complain saying you know Jose is hard the new cha challenge battles are hard the new final boss is hard relatively speaking I already have my strats from the first game when I first played it so I can't really say anything was really hard in this gameplay which comes to the one bad thing I have to say and it's the new additions to the game Specifically, Kasumi and Akechi. So, if you guys haven't heard, you get to play as them at, in the last month of the game. So, you basically get them for essentially one chapter. I mean, you get to play with Agoro beforehand, but he doesn't get his true form until later on. And you also don't get their the double their their their, rev, their revised confidant personas until literally the final boss fight. To me, there is no reason to hold back Kasumi for so long till end game to that one chapter it, it honestly makes no sense to do that it, it breaks the whole flow of the game to for what you what are you trying to add to the game overall the story 
makes sense in how they still want to keep the original story complete and what happens. I'm not going to spoil anything. It's not bad. I just don't care for a certain somebody in the game when everyone's just blown away by him. I just don't care. I didn't care for him at all. I did his confidants and that was about it. I'm not going to spoil anything more than that on him. I just felt it was really boring. And Kasumi should have been added way sooner into the game as a playable character. And they could have, but at the end of the day, it comes down to did they want to revise the story heavily enough to to involve Kasumi in there? And obviously, it, that would have taken a lot of work, but they didn't. So they did what they could. And overall, Persona 5 Royal definitely an amazing definitive addition in the game. Other than the fact that Kasumi doesn't get you can't play her till late in the game. There's only one part of the game where I felt was dumbly repetitive was the week between Christmas and the next chapter where you're by yourself and certain things happen and you have to play out the week without fast travel. Yeah, that was not a great time. That was not that was no bueno, Atlas. That was no bueno. But once again guys, those are my final opinions. Super excited for Cold Steel 4's localization later this year. Persona 5, uh, I'll probably do, I might do a video on it later on about the, once I get the platinum, but still, once again, amazing game if you haven't picked it up yet. Until the next one, boys.